We're Naikin Kim, two travelers from Belgium who had been traveling non-stop for a year and a half before recently returning home because of you know what, and buying this 2018 Ford Transit van. Over the next few weeks we are going to convert our van into a camper that we can cruise around Europe. After shipping and insulating it in our previous videos, today we will actually start building stuff. Starting with our bed. Oh, good morning! Hello! Didn't see you there. I was very busy wiping down my new floor. Look at this! We have a floor in the van. Like, not this ugly subfloor, but an actual beautiful wooden looking floor, even though it's not wooden. It's a nice oak floor. It's not really oak, it's vinyl. It's just two millimeters thick. Uh, we chose this because it is, well, not fairly light, it's not really light at all. But I mean, it is it's fairly thin, it is very strong, and it's really it works really well together with the subfloor heating that we have, so our feet can be nice and toasty, even in winter time, because it's now already September, and before we leave, it's going to be pretty, pretty cold. We're going to be making a convertible bed. It will be a U-shape. Uh, with two benches, well not two benches on each side, one bench here, one bench here and then the table will be like this and it will convert into a bed by lowering the table and then the cushions will form the complete bed. It'll all make sense when, I, when it's almost finished but for now just believe me, it'll work or at least I hope it will. I just made a very technical drawing. This is the U-shape that I was talking about and the thing that I'm coloring in now, which I'm not really good at as Toddlers you can see. would do better, I would say, but... Hopefully, hopefully. Um, this will be the table, um, this will be seating area, this will be seating area, this as well. The total height will be 49 centimeters on the top of our cushions. Uh, including the cushion thickness. Yeah, we hope our cushions will give us two, three centimeters when we sit on top of them. So we have a little bit of leeway just to sit down. Our cushions will be nine centimeters uh, thick. There will be a, a piece of plywood on top because we want to have something to open up. That gives us 38.5 on the top of the bed frame that we are building now. These wooden bars are 50 by 50, uh, five centimeters by five centimeters. And yeah, so we're going to be using this. It is quite strong, but not too thick, not too heavy, I hope. I, I could have gone maybe a little bit thinner, but then I thought, well, hey, we're heavy people. Let's just make it strong enough. And I'm excited to be starting to use these <laughs> tools today. Just look at all these Makita little suitcases. All of them are filled with great tools, which we're going to be using. Okay, enough. Let's get to work, damn it. Before we move on to the bed, because as badly as I want to build this bed, Naik sort of curtailed my information about the floor. If anyone is wondering why we're not putting the floor everywhere and only in this middle part, it is because that is basically going to be the aisle in between all yep. our furniture. All the rest is just furniture and doesn't make sense to put floor underneath it, especially since it is quite heavy. It is quite heavy. So this bit right here weighs about 20 kilos, I would say. And if we would put it everywhere, like underneath the furniture as well, then we would need at least three packs instead of one. So we would have 60 instead of 20 kilos. Quite a big difference in terms of the weight restrictions yeah, that we weird. have. Before starting the video, I already measured this one. Uh, which will fit in here and I saw it off and then these should be legs to go under there according to my specifications this should be 38.5 centimeters and it is 38 hmm. oh really we're missing five five millimeters oh these beams are not 5 centimeters, they're 4.5 centimeters. I think they're 4 actually. That's 4.4, 4, 
4.3. So this is actually really important why you need to measure before you assume that it's how thick it is. Nice thing is this thing has a laser. Well, it's not the laser that cuts, but it's just a laser where you can see exactly where the blade will hit. So you can position it to the millimeter and in case you measure correctly, not like I did earlier, you will have the perfect cut. Let's try it again. I also made this one again because I saw there was a little bit of a gap. You need a bit of a gap just to be able for the wood to fit in and just work a little bit, but it was a bit more than I uh, liked. So I just made this one again as well. Butchered the other one, made it into this one, and now uh, hopefully it'll be right. Whoa. Some would say this fits perfectly now. It does. It really does fit perfectly. So I have a friend who's a bit into woodworking, gave me some tips. He said, be sure to uh, use some good screws and to pre-drill the holes that you're screwing into because this is a very long screw. Um, it's not a super thick beam and the risk is that if you put in the screw, the wood will shatter a little bit, especially towards the end where most of the screws will go. So we're going to be pre-drilling these screws. And just for the sake of sturdiness, we're also going to be putting in maybe Two screws if I can. I think it. it'll fit. Let's try. sweet floor and I was like you're so new I don't want you to get scratched just yet I'm gonna put down this huge cardboard box basically I just cut open and I think it's even big enough to cover like 95% of the floor and we put it over the over the floor heating down there as well because that's open as well and I can see there's already a screwing machine lying on top of it so I think it's best I don't know I can't see it anymore I think it's best to put it in right now before we break anything, before we scratch anything. Seems I've chosen the corner with some of the most faffing about right here because there's a little corner here and then it goes straight and then this way and then that way. So it's a little bit of a just measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting, screwing, pre drilling. No, first pre drilling, then screwing. It takes a little bit of time, but in the end, I think this will work out starting to become a bit more sturdy and then I'm going to look for a way to attach it pretty sturdily to the van itself so that it's really really rock solid hopefully. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Really hungry actually. But there's good news. It is carnival week. Fair. There's fair a week. fair. There's a fair in a fun town. Fun fair is in town. It's always the second week or third week of September, not sure exactly what. I think it's generally agreed upon that the best French fries in Belgium are to be found. Belgian fries, dude! They're Belgian, Belgian. fries! Oh my god. Oh my god. Just beep it out, Kim, beep it out, and I said it. <laughs> the best Belgian fries can be found it at the fun fair so i'm just gonna have a quick stop like take the car for about two kilometers or one kilometer maybe get some fries and then get going again it's currently 7 40 p.m and we need we... to get this bed ready before bedtime because otherwise we can't sleep <laughs> no but we're very very hungry and we're planning on continuing for a while after yeah. After dinner, so... Birdie's out for a dinner, I think. Uh, he's not home, so we can be quite noisy today and just continue till quite late. We'll be back later. Stay here. Stay.
Also, while we're at it, a really, really big thank you. We've said it in person a few, a few times, but we're gonna say it again, officially in this video, to Natalie, Naik's mom, for lending us her we're car. We're still driving her car weeks later. Weeks later, like we, we, we've had it ever since we came out of quarantine, driving it around everywhere. Thanks, mom. Clearly, we were not the only ones with this idea because all of these people are queuing up to get some fries, but they're super good, so... Love these doors with the self... Uh, cars with the self-opening doors. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> no. Ta da! Yeah, progress going quite well. Well, a bit slower than I expected, but it always goes slower than you expect. You need to measure, then some things come out, you faff about a bit, but. Oh. Why did you pick up the word faffing? You never use that. I've heard you say it twice today. I've never ever heard you use it before. Of the same size? They're both big ones. Or did these? I should be. I'll take that one because it looks like it's a little bit smaller. Considerably smaller, I think. Thank but you. still. So we just. Oh, yeah. oh, this is yours? This is my meat. What we call in Belgium boulette spéciale. Actually, it's a sort of deep fried, it's not a sort of, it's exactly a deep fried meatball with some mayonnaise, ketchup, and some onions in there. Please don't judge. It's quite common in Belgium, even though it looks like I'm being quite extravagant. And what else do we have? Some fries. Some fries. Belgian fries. Mm. With mayonnaise and a little meat croquette. Mm. It looks sturdy. It's super sturdy. It's even more sturdy than I expected it to be. So yeah, I haven't even bolted it into the van yet. So progress. It's so nice to finally build something. Repurposing some stuff that we initially tore out of the van. Yeah, didn't expect this at all, but hey, here we are. These Diane's bolt that I screwed. Let's try that again, shall we? These giant bolts that I screwed out of the side walls on the first day that we had the van, those actually fit perfectly, or so we think, to really bolt the wood into the van. Yeah, and there's these uh, points in the van where you can really get it into the metal, uh, especially made for this, especially made to so be very, very strong. So we can attach it to the bodywork of the van. Awesome. We're going to try and use those ones. Kim, I'm going to need your lovely assistance because I'm going to need to bolt this in here, uh, but the bolt is in, of course, in the back. Already put in some insulation just to make it easier on you. You know, I just care so much about uh, how easy it is for you. But uh, you and your small hands. Now that I'm down here, I realize I really have to clean up after you more. There is no time for me to edit. There is only time for me to clean up after night. What are you talking about? It's perfectly much, clean. As much of a great job as you do building, you're not very good at keeping the stuff that we've built in a perfect state. But each to their own. Anyway, you gotta put this in there first. Ooh, you do need small hands for this. Wait. Where's the hole? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Wait. Not supposed to. You can't reach it? I need you need someone without wrists. Like someone who has flexible wrists. Where is my hand is here now? It's impossible for me to Maybe you can reach it from the bottom. Maybe I should have checked if you can actually reach that spot before drilling the hole and putting the bolt in. I really don't think this is possible. I think Unless... it is, Kim. Almost there, but I'm there. Oh my god. I have it. Put the ring around it, right? Yep. Aim carefully. The tension is dripping from Kim's face. <laughs> Ew, that'll be that'll be mayonnaise from the fries. Close up, dramatic close up. Oh yeah. Did it! Thanks too! This. 
It was very hard to squeeze in there, but we did it. What's next, Captain? Can I please go back to editing now? Yeah, you can. Perfectly executed by the cleaning. Snake. Time for a little Belgian beer. We are going to continue Cheers. tomorrow. This video. We are going to continue this video tomorrow. We're gonna call it a day for today. Yep. It's been a pretty long day. What time is it? Do you have your phone on you? It's uh, 20. It's 10 past. No, it's 30 past 10. 10:30. It's 10:30. <sighs> you see, it's time well, we quit. We'll see you in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. Oh my god, today is super, super exciting because look what we have. We have our license plates, which means that as of today, we can officially cruise around and. Oh, there you are. We can officially hey. cruise around in our van. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. We, we can finally, we can finally take it out. We're gonna take the van on its first official trip outside of the warehouse on its maiden voyage, if you will, tonight. So stay tuned in this. Video. In here. We did notice over our beer yesterday evening that there were a few things wrong or a few problems that have arisen and with respect to the bed frame that we're building. Build out the frame exactly 1 meter 90, well it's 1 meter 91. I mean, I heard a little bit on the longer side and there's still small gaps where uh, I couldn't completely fit it because of some things I had to take into account. So 1 meter 91, the goal is 1 meter 90, works pretty, pretty well. But now the bed frame is about 4 centimeters longer than we had mapped out on the floor. So this line was supposed to be it, but it's actually a little bit more than that. Problem is when we started the design, when we did the layout and measured it on the floor, we started measuring from somewhere, somewhere from the door, but the door isn't straight, it is concave, nothing is straight in this van. You can see, you can clearly see it goes a little bit out like this. So to start the build of the bed frame, I start from the nearest point but when we did the layout we started from the furthest point and we lost a few centimeters here and there and now we're just thinking of solution do we want to keep it this way which is a few centimeters less uh, of kitchen cavity which in the end doesn't really matter so much you would think but there's only one place that fits our fridge and then next to it we have a small cabinet left which is about 23 centimeters so if we give up three four centimeters we've gone 20, 19 centimeters which is very very small and not very usable. First let's build out the frame more except for like the end and then we'll see like, what it will turn out like and then we can make it soon. What do you think? Eh. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Alright, welcome to my bed, or at least my half of the bed. <laughs> I just built out my half, Kim will now be building out her half of the bed so uh, we can both sleep. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Fortunately for me! It uh, worked out pretty well and it's super, super sturdy. It's yeah, like, it's like, it's amazing. Like, I can shake, shake it again. Right. Yeah, that one, that's not part of the bed. Look at this, this is crazy. I'm super impressed with this. Like, yeah, I've never seen, well. I mean, it's super, super sturdy. It looks really professional, really good. One little trick I use and which worked out really well is I use this one, I cut it so it fits perfectly over this. And yeah, I made so sure it fits this, in between the sides. I made sure it is very, very straight. And I can just use this to align it on top and over the whole van. Now I'm going to do the other side. Already cut it to measure and then it's going to be like, this approximately a little bit more, a bit more towards the other side. Yeah, 
getting everything in tip top shape here for the grand maiden voyage. We managed to finish the bed frame, I think, but we're gonna show it to you in a minute. First, we're gonna attempt to drive the van out of here. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, don't have too much room left, so, uh, and it's the first time driving it, so I'm gonna have to maneuver back it. it up and maneuver it out of there. Maiden voyage. I hope it's not like Titanic, we have to avoid icebergs at all costs. Very smoothly bent better than expected. Now I just have to get into the traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, the first maiden voyage on our little van. Our little van. It's quite big. How does it drive? Yeah, quite well actually. It's um I mean, it's fairly big. I had to navigate some small streets to uh, to get here. Couldn't make a U-turn, so I had to take a couple of small streets, um, which was like a bit of a challenge because I'm not used to do, like driving something this long. Like when there's a parked car, you need to go around it or something. A little bit of driving noise coming from the back, but yeah, it's not uh, insulated yet fully, so I think uh, that should uh, be better. It's completely empty in the back, so probably all the noise is just bouncing off the walls, there's still loads of insulation missing, so... Yeah, I do feel a bit of a draft at my feet, like I feel cold air going to my feet, but that's because you turned on the AC. Yes, <laughs> there is a leak in the van. <laughs> It is the next day. You wouldn't say because we didn't really change it's outfits. After the weekend, we had a pretty relaxing weekend. Back this week to uh, work more on the van, but first, not much visible stuff has happened over the weekend. We have taken all the measurements we needed for the kitchen cabinets yep. and stuff like that, and ordered them just to have them sawed completely correct. We ordered the uh, wood at a wood dealer, a wood shop. I just wanted to gloat a little bit with my uh, handy work here. See, I've got this uh, straight line, it's not even a millimeter off, I think. Even if you go all the way over here, everything, wait, see, everything is perfectly aligned. Took me quite a bit of hours uh, and time to get it right. The thing is, you never know, the van is not straight, you never know how, how sturdy you're going to be able to build the bed when everything you're building it around is basically also not level or not straight, but I think the end result. Well, the intermediate result is incredible. So before we're going to close off this bench, I'm going to install or at least place the water tank here. You know, because I'm being smart. Do not build the bed before we place the water tank. So, <laughs> how is this working out? I think it's perfect. It doesn't need to be level. That's overrated. This way the water comes out more easily. <laughs> I thought it would still fit. I don't know. It fits really nicely, the tank, but just not with everything installed. Thing before you start building your own van. Don't do it. And then Stop think it while you can. And then think, and then think, no. No, not before you build your own van. Like, before you build your bed. Because we did think about it. But we didn't think of this. Now she fits. Oh yeah. So, about two centimeters, but I think I measured it very well and there's about no centimeters in <laughs> width-wise. I could have taken off the leg a little bit. But that's good, because this is not going anywhere. It's going to be super easy to attach. It's almost attached now and there is like zero screws in here. Yeah, but I'm going to need to find a very sturdy way to attach it because this is, when it's filled up, it's going to be 125 liters, which is 125 kilos, which um, becomes quite a bit of force if you're ever in an accident and no. And that's my chair. Yes. I don't want to turn into a This is passenger side. I don't want to turn into a human water balloon, so. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna end yes. this video here for now because right now we can't finish the bed. We nope. have to get the wood 
made to measure. Yes, it will um, take a couple of days, so in three, four days, hopefully it will be ready and we can install it together with the kitchen cabinets because they will, that will be ready in three days already. So Make yeah. sure it all fits together, then we paint everything yep. several times and then we put it all together. We will show you that in one of the next videos. Yes, we hope be. you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new yes, to our is. channel and you haven't subscribed already. And we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.